Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be forging a knife from this old file. It has seen some better days and is pretty corroded and rusted, but I think there's enough life in here to forge a really nice knife. I'm going to start by cross peening this and drawing it out because right now the stock is very thick and kind of chunky. The idea is to forge a nice Bowie knife somewhere around 6 to 8 inches long with a full tang design. I'm going to forge this as close as I can to the shape. The more you forge it to shape, the less you have to grind, the less you have to grind, the less belts you have to use, and the less belts you have to use, the less money you got to spend. As you guys remember, I'm a cheapskate. I'm going to draw out this tang, get to its actual shape, and then I'm going to go back and make sure my blade is nice and straight before the quench. The closer you get to forging your blade straight, the easier it is when you do the quench. The quench can oftentimes warp your blade, so just taking that extra minute to keep everything nice and straight is a game changer. After doing a thermal cycle, I'm going to quench it in vegetable oil. And then after the vegetable oil, I'll put it inside of the tempering oven, starting from 375 degrees, going all the way up to 410 degrees, leaving the HRC 58, which is a little bit lower than what I wanted. Out of the quench, it's 65 HRC. After tempering, I'll take it over to my 2x72 grinder, and we'll get this thing ground from 60 grit all the way up to 320 grit. We'll start from 320 grit and go all the way up to 600 grit and didn't do a steel wool buff. When I'm hand sanding this blade, I notice a darker spot along the cutting edge of the blade which looks similar to Hamon. It must have happened during the quench, but I'm not sure. If you guys know what that is, please tell me. I'm not sure. I got it all polished to 600 grit. It's a little bit thinner than what I like, especially for a Bowie knife, but I'm really liking it. It's got a nice polish to it. After hand sanding and getting it all nice and cleaned up, I'm going to add these black walnut handle scales to it. My glue ups are always messy. After gluing it up, I'm going to take the knife on this 320 grit belt, get it sharpened, and then take it over to the stones and sharpen it to a thousand grit. And then I'll be done. I really love this knife. I love all the knives I make, but this one I kind of like a little bit more. The design, the look, is just really neat, and the steel that it came from tells the story. Anyway, what do you guys think? You all have a great one.